Hey, what's up? The new Redmi Note 11T Pro smartphone series from Xiaomi is the best seller on the Chinese market. For just one hour, 270,000 units were sold. This is amazing! The new phone series includes two smartphones, Redmi Note 11T Pro and Redmi Note 11T Pro Plus. They have the same design, a Dimensity 8100 processor and 64MP triple camera. The only difference between them is the battery. Redmi Note 11T Pro Plus supports 150W fast charging. Anyway, in this video, I want to compare Redmi Note 11T Pro Plus with Realme GT Neo 3 150W. By the way, Realme smartphone is also available in the version with 80W fast charging support. However, in this video, I will compare 150W version of the new Realme device. As usual, let's start the comparison with design, and then we will talk about display, performance, camera, battery, and price. You know, I see a lot in common between Redmi Note 11T Pro Plus and Realme GT Neo 3 150W. They have almost the same dimensions and weight, but Realme phone comes with 6.7-inch display, Well, Redmi device has 6.6 inches. We will talk more about display a little later in this video. On the front panel, there is a hole-punch screen on the both phones. You know, even the main camera design on the rear panel looks similar. But Redmi phones have two big sensors and one smaller one, while Realme device comes with one big sensor and two smaller ones. However, the design is similar overall, isn't it? On the other hand, you will definitely recognize Realme GT Neo 3 smartphone, because it is available in the blue color with white lines and the white color with black lines. The black color version is completely black without any stripes. Redmi Note 11T Pro Plus is available in the silver, black and blue colors. The new Realme and Redmi smartphones have USB Type-C charging port, a dual speaker and a no memory card support. In addition, only Xiaomi phone has a 3.5mm audio jack. From other side, Realme GT Neo 3 150W has a fingerprint reader under the display. Redmi Note 11T Pro Plus has a side-mounted fingerprint scanner. Finally, Xiaomi smartphone is waterproof and dustproof by IP53 rating. Realme phone is not waterproof. You know, only because of the water resistance, I want to choose Redmi smartphone. Talking about display, as I already said, Redmi Note 11T Pro Plus has 6.6-inch diagonal, while Realme GT Neo 3 has 6.7 inches. The resolution is Full HD+. They look very similar, but Redmi phone comes with IPS LCD panel, while Realme device has AMOLED panel. Xiaomi smartphone supports 144Hz refresh rate, HDR10 and Dolby Vision, while Realme phone has 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10 Plus support and 1 billion colors. You know, it is very hard choice, but I am fan of AMOLED display, so I will choose Realme GT Neo 3 this time. The new smartphones from Redmi and Realme have about the same performance, because they are powered by the same chipset, the Dimensity 8100. Xiaomi phone is available in the versions with 8 or 12 gigs of RAM and 128, 256 or 512 gigs of storage. Realme phone has only two versions with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage and 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. As I already said, there is no card slot on the both mobile devices. The new smartphones run on Android 12 operating system, but they have different user interface. I have tried both MIUI and Realme UI. And to be honest, I like Realme UI more. However, this is a matter of taste. Maybe MIUI will be better for you. So Redmi Note 11T Pro Plus and Realme GT Neo 3 150W have about the same performance. If we compare the cameras of the new Redmi and Realme phones, they also have a lot in common. Both of them have a triple camera on the rear panel with 8 megapixels ultra-wide-angle sensor and 2 megapixels macro sensor. However, the main sensor of Redmi Note 11T Pro Plus has 64 megapixels resolution, while Realme GT Neo 3 150W has a 50 megapixels sensor. I know that the more megapixels doesn't mean better picture quality, but I have looked at a few photos, and it seems to me that Redmi phone has a little better cameras. On the front panel, both smartphones have 16 megapixels cameras. Finally, let's compare the batteries. You know, battery is one of the main features of the new Redmi and Realme phones. Redmi Note 11T Pro Plus has 4400 mAh battery with 130W fast charging support. The full battery charge takes only 19 minutes and 10 minutes to 50%. Talking about Realme GT Neo 3 150W, 
It has 4500 mAh battery and 150 watt fast charging support. It is fully charged in 15 minutes and 50% in 5 minutes. I don't think that 4 minutes plays a very big role, but still Realme phone looks better. Before talking about price, you should also know that Realme GT Neo 3 150W is available on the global market, and you can buy it in Europe and US. Redmi Note 11 T Pro Plus was only released in China. The price of the new Xiaomi smartphones starts from 2099 yuan or $314. As for the Realme GT Neo 3 150W, it is more expensive mobile device, you can buy it for $550. You know, Redmi Note 11 T Pro Plus is almost two times more cheaper than the Realme GT Neo 3 150W, but it has the same processor, similar performance, and even better camera. From other side, Realme phone has AMOLED display, which is an advantage for me, and faster charging. However, a full battery charge is only 4 minutes different. I don't think this is very important for many people. In my opinion, Redmi phone is a better choice. If you disagree, let me know at the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you soon.